Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of Watts Collection. Uh, currently, uh, we got a couple of different affairs going on, uh, scandals by some estimation. The first one is La Affaire de la Maison de la Auturie. In other words, the Horology House Affair. Now, you may have heard of this one because it's been all over the place. Uh, and uh, this is, their, if you go to their website now, it says, we are taking a break. Uh, this involves uh, the sale of a phony um, Daytona uh, and for like 29000 Australian dollars. That's a lot of money. So uh, here, was a, here was a website, here was a channel, everybody loved it. Uh, and I think, I think they were out in Perth in Western Australia. Anyway, uh, when this thing broke, it was bad. Uh, and so there's all kinds of drama going on there and everything got shut down. Now, one of the things that they were talking about, they were saying that the, uh, the guy, a uh, guy named Chris, who was, a, who was the head of the outfit, uh, the one report, and I can't verify this too, sending out letters asking for people for some understanding. And one of them said, well, I had a little gambling problem, you understand. <laughs> what? If I had a gambling problem and I ran into it, I wouldn't tell anyone about it. Oh my God! So I said, "Well, you understand, I've got—I'm a heroin addict, and I got to buy some stuff that's really expensive. So you understand? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, whoa, whoa. I, there's something almost—I mean, it's terrible if you know if if anyone's uh, not getting a watch or they lost their money. But on the other hand, is that what happened? Here's a guy that did something pretty good. Now the other main one that's going on now, you may not have heard of." Uh, there's a company I've dealt with in Basel, Switzerland, called Time of uh, Switzerland. And uh, the guy who's ahead of it is Andy Fry. And I've dealt with him before. I bought uh, a, a great watch from him, got great service. Everything about it was great. And um, I was going to buy a, a, a watch. And what happened uh, was that he wanted... Uh, me to wire the cash, and usually I put it in. I have these in my uh, uh, credit card, and was, and then I could shift some money around on my bank. But coming up with a glob all at once was a little tricky. So I said, "Okay, well, this is going to take a while. I'll have to save it up." Okay, so I saved and saved and saved, and finally, uh, around in January, I got a. Um, I, I had enough, and I was going to send it to him. Well, right before then. I got at this uh, a couple emails. The first one was in German, and I had to uh, translate it, and it was something about the family and so forth. And then on December 30th, I got this uh, email. It says, uh, what happened at the time of Switzerland? It says, uh, well, I also do not now smile. It starts off. And then it's the dear customers, friends, business partners, I owe you big time, therefore, my statement in English. And then it goes on, and it says... I did not have any control about the company. No, I was basically jailed. <laughs> what? <laughs> he threw him in jail. What? What's going on? And then uh, apparently this was some kind of big brouhaha with a family. And then it goes on to say, uh, hear the good news for you, dear clients. I have a lot of new ideas and plans to serve you better, to give you a unique service. That's not exactly what people are looking for. They want their watches or they want their money. And this is for over 20 years. You guys trust me, wire money to me and know that uh, you all receive a watch. And that's true. Uh, but when things happen, man, they can really roll you up. Uh, it says, um, you are the people who believed in me in the last three months and my family fucked us all. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was, come on, this is, this is crazy. Uh, anyway, um, well, there was a guy uh, on one of the forums, Watch, uh, watch You Secret, saying, look, you know, he's sent him money and he hadn't got his watch out. I don't know if he ever got his watch or not. But when things like that starting start to happen, man, it's time to get out. I, I and if you go to their site now, it says Time of Switzerland is currently off, offline. Exactly the same thing that the Horology House had. But these guys really don't know how to do scandal. <laughs> it's like the Jacquet, La Faire Jacquet. 
uh, he and his buddies uh, went to prison and they had snatched something like a million dollars worth of uh, gold cases and they were making fake Rolex, uh, Rolexes with them. Here was a guy, he, he was a successful business guy. Uh, he was the one who made uh, this uh, movement. He designed it and made it and everything for a company called Jacques uh, S.A. So anyway, so there it is. Those are our current scandals. They just don't do them like they used to, though. <laughs> it's, it's a good thing. Anyway, let me know what you think and any information you may have. Until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Side, the art and science of watch collection. <music>